Welcome to the Okanagan Sun Coaches Show. Ryan Waters and head coach Shane B. First chance we get to catch up after the Culling Cup. You look at this picture behind us. I mean, what goes through your mind when you look at that and you look at the group of guys around you and the trophy? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's a, it's a great feeling. These kids have worked their butts off. Um, well deserved on their behalf. I mean, they've endured my beatings on them for <laughs> since, la since January. It was funny. I, I told the kids I was going to give them a month off for weights like we did last year. And they said, Coach, you gave us four days off. <laughs> that was from Eli Haynes, so I, I got a good giggle out of that one. But um, we've earned it. Yeah. You know, we've earned to get where we're at right now, and, and now we got to go earn one more. Um, these kids have been so focused. You know, one and oh each week is our motto, and um, and they've believed in it and they bought into it. Our leadership's been phenomenal, from the Jonas's to the Lucas's to the Brendan Van Nistroy's, Cam's, Cliff's, I can go on and on, Vecchio, and Kyle Patchell. It, it's been phenomenal. Our, our captains have been great, and, um, you know, we're ready to go. You can't call everybody captain, but really this team is full of leaders, full of captains, isn't it? Oh, is it ever? I mean, you know, you missed out on Thomas Huber there. You, I mean, Jeremy Williams has stepped in and played a good role. Uh, you can go on and on and on. I mean, Jamie Turk in his own little quirky ways. I mean, Lane Hall, Keegan Hughes. We've got some good football players. Yeah. How you? How were you able to dominate the VI Raiders? Let's go back to the Cullen Cup for a second. And 54 nothing. It's just unbelievable. We prepared well. Yeah. Um, we played fast. We've started to play really fast the last three or four games. And, um, you know, let's take away that one game of Camels when we tried a, a little experiment on defense and it didn't work. Um, and we were without three or four starters. To, not to make any excuses, but it's, that's reality. We started making adjustments right then. And we knew that we had that two weeks in between the playoff games between them and Camels. And um, we made a lot of adjustments during those two weeks. And um, the kids loved it. And when they feel it, they play fast, so they came out fast, and um, we're long, we're lean, we're athletic, and we just we starting to click. Cam's playing with confidence. Um, we got Corey Nagata back, yeah. but what we really have is an old line that's played together for the last three games straight now. Um, that's five pretty good old linemen, two all Canadians, and then three guys inside that have been playing very well. So that's been nice, and. Um, you add all that together, and it's been a great recipe. Yeah, and with the defense, I mean, the defense just continues to dominate, play well, and, and they showed it again on the weekend. Yeah, I mean, in my mind, Brandon Van Nistelrooy is going to be a second or third round pick for the CFL. Yeah. I mean, and then you had Jonas Gehring, Jamie Turk, Wes Kaiser. I mean, Lane Hall, Keegan Hughes played great. Mm -hmm. um, Lucas Machado played great. And then you add in the unknowns, like Connor Novak and, and, and Corey McCoy. Those kids are playing well. So, mm -hmm. And then Court... Delente's probably one of our most consistent players all year long. And then you added Isaiah Stewart. I mean, yeah. it's for real? I mean, 1 to 12, they all could play, be all stars in their own right. So, yeah. and I probably voted for seven of those kids. <laughs> you know, you all didn't give it to me. <laughs> but, anyways, <coughs> I'm really excited and um, moving forward to Saskatoon. They're physical, they're big, and um, it's going to be fun. You talk all season long, you're built to stop the run. Saskatoon built to run the football. It's going to be a good matchup. Is this game going to be won or lost in the trenches? Absolutely. The little number 21, he's not little, he's a good-sized kid. Um, he's a good running back. Um, the right guard is nasty, he's a prick. Um, their tackle is pretty good. So it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun to see what they can do against us. Um, <coughs> lining up Jonas and Lucas on the same side and um, getting Connor and whoever else at the other right end going. And um, it's time to mix it up, take the gloves off, so let's go. When do you get to Saskatoon? When do you get settled there? Do you want to practice here all week and then go, or are you looking to get there early? Practice here all week. Yeah. I mean, we just need to get a little walkthrough on their field. Even if it's just for 15, 20 minutes just to get a feel of it, um, you know, and adjust to the weather a little bit there. But we'll be ready to rock and roll. We're going to practice here Monday through Thursday. Um, tonight we're going to watch film. Tomorrow night we're going to watch film. Give them Friday through Sunday off. Meet Sunday, at, um, Friday to Sunday, meet Sunday night, and um, get it going. There hasn't been much, at least on the field, adversity. We talk about this team being so dominant, 10 and 0 during the regular season, 12 and 0 with the two playoff games. You haven't given up a lot of points. Do you feel that there's maybe a little bit of concern that you haven't really felt or seen any adversity on the field? This team's been built over three years, so we've seen adversity. Okay. Um, these are the same nucleus, the same guys that we've had for three years. We've been building towards this for three years now. It took us a little longer than we wanted it to. We didn't get it last year, but. These kids have faced adversity. They understand it. Um, last year, losing to Langley. May not this year, but you know, Langley gave us a run for our money. So did, so did Kamloops. Langley's built similar to Saskatoon. Uh, big on the front, up front on offensive line, and very big on the defensive line, like Langley was. Big inside. Um, you know, with Gowan Locke and, and, um, 
Alex in there with Langley, they're built very similar to the guys in, in Saskatoon. Um, Saskatoon has a beast inside, and we'll, we'll, we'll pay attention to it. But, um, you know, our kids have faced adversity. Our kids are resilient. Coach, thanks for doing this. Have fun. Thank you, sir. And Coach Shane Beattie, they are the 2015 Collin Cup champions. The Canadian Bowl is next.